everybody, this is the um, I think 16th episode of GTA 5, the best game ever. Back here. You're not even hidden. Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. <coughs> I thought you said you weren't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's Two Michael Townley living in LS. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. <laughs> Shut up ask. before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out of here! <laughs> We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money and tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? <laughs> Are um, we gonna stop for ice cream? So we're headed to Los Santos soon? Zoom. Nice. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Road trip? We taking this one? Get in! Your people out in Los Santos. It's just my cousin there, Chloe. He's bunked in with his girlfriend someplace called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as man that employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Cause you know, I'm getting kinda wet over here. For fuck's sake. Another chapter of the lost have descended on this fine town, looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor, I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what did you want to... Camped up here. I'll wait till dark before I drop in again. Assholes here. They slipped. 
ice took a hold of this whole place. You lost, but you are not forgotten, brothers. Go find that motherfucker. I got you them bombs, you got pistol with the thing that makes it quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those yeah. are my gifts for these pricks. Yeah, I already have this. That's over. Let's get out of town. Los freaking Santos. <laughs> Got you okay? I heard Dr. Bang. Los freaking Santos. And screaming. But then not, not the guy's kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government, they pissed me off. But, if he's dead, who is Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? 
with my dead friend's alias and my dead friend's family in a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah. I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye. It's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I didn't mean any good by that, Pete. Trevor! Move up your eye hole, fucker! Cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill! Uh, please, don't turn me into anything! I just want to be Wade! Can you give me some Morgan next time? Are we nearly there yet? No, way. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all! Can you tell me a story? No, way. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't, I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral? Hey, hey, hey. How about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tri... Tri... Uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. God, weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Oh! oh! He did for a while, but his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. <laughs> what could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. The Trevor! Hey! Aww. Right there. Los Santos. The end of the fucking earth. This is the place! I seen you on the holiday card. So, this is Bo Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. Hey, y'all, we gotta step away from this gangster shit for a minute to pay some bills. Guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Knock off! Go into my cousin! Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? Fly over in Vespucci Beach. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a 
like a stick actor, like, like I have one. Right, right. But... Signed up for the Air Force. Fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, just, just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike Mich Michelle. A lady troll? <laughs> he, had, he had tits like one. No, no. He, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. <laughs> This was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes he'd go into town and rob his shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? Oh, oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on I Find Maps. I'll give you directions. <laughs> Tie her off! Yo, turn here. This is the place, I think it is at least. Cousin Floyd! It's up here, Trevor! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you wait! I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere. Here, he's gonna smoke meth here! Give me a fucking lighter. You can't smoke here! Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was called Neville's bed. A guy we've never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. Okay, that's this episode. Bye now.